Okay, hey, he came back to me. You came back. And not craft campfire, actually place it down. Because if you start to get cold like this and etc., you know, you can you can freeze to death in some environments very quickly. Come on, baby, love my fire. <laughs> uh, there we go. Well, I guess we're camping out for the night. So, because it's, it's quite cold out there. And, and what I don't want is to freeze to death for when we have a, a nice cozy fire. Uh, any, we can cook up some of the meats we have. No, don't. Ah, I keep doing that. <laughs> and what's annoying is when you relight the fire, that uses up a lot of your... Um, your stuff. See, is that an egg? No, it's a dookie. So, yeah, there, I, I've been doing research and I've kind of figured out some of the animals I want to tame. Uh, one of them in particular are, um, like, I don't really like swimming that much in this game. It tends to, it, it can be really dangerous and the controls are a little bit kind of, I don't know. A, l a little bit glitchy. Oh, did it again. Okay. Keep that fire lit. And we'll put some more wood on the fire. Ah, nice and toasty. Um, I don't like swimming all that much again. We'll, we'll do some underwater stuff, and I might try and tame some underwater things, but yeesh, it, it can be it can be really tough actually. Uh, you know what? I should be harvesting some of these rocks. <laughs> because I need them to repair. Yeah, it's it's a cold night, so let's um. We're just gonna like to keep up with our levels. I'm going to kind of smack stuff and repair tools. Like all that helps level up. Uh, but I don't think we can really leave this fire uh, for too long. See how quickly the cold comes on? So, we'll definitely do a little bit of gathering uh, just around the campfire. Yeah, so. Oh, we could we could probably, let's hunt this Carbonemus. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. You would think he'd go down by now, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't run because I'm crafting. Wow. Come on. I'm not going to die like this. Whew. Thank you, Dilo. I'm tempted to learn the, the blood pack. It uh, let's let's have some chow. And man, I <laughs> that that was close actually. And I I, I was kind of being lazy and, and letting him get some hits on me instead of trying to back up more more than I should have. But anyway, oh the other thing I found out. So yeah, unfortunately, um, I was so excited about the Obi Raptor because I had. False information. Apparently, so I thought if you left them on wander, they, they, their natural thing, like their inclination, would be to essentially go around and picking up eggs from. Nope, not gonna put out fire. I'm gonna get some meat off the fire. A oh, hot meat right off the fire. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, we got some oil. This stuff you need a ton of, so save it up. You need a lot of it, especially later on. Is that an egg? No, it's a seashell. <laughs> oh, you know, since we're, we're kind of stranded near the flames here, we need to come up with a name for this one. Hmm. Uh, I got some names that I was kind of saving for other dinosaurs. Um, I mean... We could do like the Lila. That's it's a D name. I don't I don't know though. Delilah doesn't Dolly. Well let's go with Dolly. Dolly the Dilo. That's good. 
Dolly. Or do we want to go all fancy French with an IE? We don't. <laughs> we don't. Uh, anyway. Still making the poopies, huh? Uh, what would be nice is that I, I don't know if they lay eggs when they aren't mate boosted or if it's just super rare. So. <laughs> uh, it's like that scene and. Um, what was that? Blazing Saddles. Uh, when they're all sitting around the campfire, just like, you know, gassing it up. Uh, I, I was, um, when I was a kid, so I was raised by my mom. And, it, like, you kind of like when you're raised by a single parent of, like, you know, the, the female persuasion, you miss out on some things. Like, she banned me outright, not allowed. To watch Blazing Saddles. <laughs> she, she thought it was gross. She thought it was inappropriate for, uh, you know, young boys to watch. And, yeah, so, like, all, like when Blazing Saddles is out, like, all my buddies were like, oh, my God, it's the most hilarious movie. I can't believe you haven't seen it. So I finally got to watch it. Uh, I, I had to do it at a sleepover, though, um, uh, with a buddy of mine. It, it was like, you know, I had to go over. I also had to go over to this place to play a doom and wolfenstein because those were banned from our household um uh but i did not miss out like I, I was like just all the time like going over to play those two so yeah it uh good times good times all around lots of blood and violence ironically enough like um doom and wolfenstein didn't really bother like like, I didn't get scared by those or anything. I just thought they were really cool-looking, interesting games. Because back then, that was, like, leading-edge graphics. The uh, the thing that really got to me and, like, scared the bejesus out of me was actually Castlevania, of all things. I have no idea why. Castlevania, like, looking back, it really isn't all that scary of a game. But something about it just gave me the heebie-jeebies back in the day, so... Yeah, yeah. It, uh, <laughs> um, you're cold. Still cold? Come on, warm up. I thought, oh, that was kind of cool. I like the sil 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 <laughs> silhouette of the um, the pteranodon across the moon. It's like the world's biggest bat. Um, but yeah, the uh, interesting thing about Blazing Saddles was, uh, you know the theme song to it? Yeah, the, the guy who wrote the theme song... Didn't know that Blazing Saddles was going to be... Yeah, I'm going to freeze to death if I try to leave. I'm, I'm going to have to stay here. <laughs> Until the sun comes up, I guess. Well, might as well not waste our, tro our torch. But, um, yeah, so the, the guy wrote the theme song for Blazing Saddles. No one told him that it was a comedy. He thought it was a very serious, like like a western film and, and keep in mind at the time no one was making westerns they used to be hollywood's darling like back when spaghetti westerns were super popular that was the summer blockbuster movie if you it was basically what superhero movies are in in like uh 2000 to 2010 decades so like everyone you know was making them and then finally the market from them just crashed and so, like, a lot of people who, like, absolutely love the genre, um, as they were getting older and, and suddenly no one was making them anymore, they were heartbroken. And they are like, this is, this is awful. It's like, you know, our favorite kind of movie, the younger generation just can't be bothered to watch. So, you know, it, it's, kind of, it's going to be the same way with superhero movies. Eventually, people really like those, kind of, that, those movies, like Avengers and all that. Hollywood's just going to stop making them. They're, they're going to realize, like, well, profits are dropping off, so we're not going to bother anymore. And people will be pretty devastated, you know? It'll be like, well, there goes um, my favorite genre, and no one's ever going to make one of them over again. So when Mel Brooks approached this guy, who, who had done, like, the theme songs for almost every Western, he didn't tell him that Blazing Sounds was a parody-slash-comedy of, of Westerns. Um, and so, like, when the guy, like, heard, oh, someone's making a Western movie, he got really excited, and he poured his heart and soul into the theme song. Like, like it was, it, like, after he recorded it, 
They say that he had like tears of joy, like just dropping down. I'm gonna go for this. Forget the cold, you know. We're 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 going for it. Um, but yeah, he had like tears of joy dropping down his face, and he was quoted as saying, "That was by far the best, um, the best I've ever done. That's my life's work, my magnum opus." And then he went to the premiere of it. It was completely devastated because he thought it was a, a serious movie, and he was so excited that, oh, awesome, they're going to revive the Western. You know, my, like my life's work was for nothing. And then, like, it, what, what is this shadow? Oh, okay. You know, I could probably have, like, a torch since it's still nighttime. Uh, trying, to, trying to make our way up. I don't think I can climb that particular spot, so let's go around a little bit further. Keep an eye out for copies. I know they're out there. If I see one, here's my strategy. I'm going to just throw the torch on the ground and then pull out the spear and just hopefully kill them with the spear. Because I'm so tired of these tiny little, like, I mean, they're ankle biters. You know, like, they, they should not be doing what they're doing to me. So, anyway, keep a, keep a sharp eye out for them. And if we see them, you know, we'll, we'll, I feel like with a spear we can deal with them. So, there's that. But anyway, back to Blazing Saddles. So, like, yeah, the guy went in totally unprepared. Had no idea that Blazing Saddles was a comedy about, like, you know, cowboys uh, eating beans and farting. And when he, fe like, they say that he was just completely devastated. Like, it, it ruined him to see that. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, the poor guy. He goes into the premiere of this movie thinking... Awesome, you know, this is my, my greatest soundtrack ever. Like, tears of joy running down his face when he recorded it. Oh, I saw something. I don't think it, it yeah, copy. Die, 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 a thousand times die. Come on, go down. Go down and stay down, you little, you little git. Okay, got him. Any more? Any more? I don't think so. I think he was a, a lone buck. Give me, give me some of that meat. It's still coming down? Okay. Good. Good, good, good. I, I'm... It's stuck on something. It's like just hovering there. Come on. Well, I can't get to you when you're stuck up there. Okay, maybe on one of these trees? Let's try cutting down a tree, see what happens. Oh, you're encumbered. Still... Well, this is annoying. I can barely, can't quite, okay, let's, let's drop something. It's going to disappear on me, like, while I'm looking at it, and I'm going to just, why am I in cover? Uh, uh, stone, drop it, I don't care. I don't care about that stone. Okay. Can I jump now? E. Jump, E. Come on. Got to time this right. There. Uh, it's more of this, huh? Let's take the roof. Um, I don't think I honestly need the rest. Well, that's good. We got, got a thatch roof. I, I don't think I even need it, but I, I got it, I guess. I also have the blueprint. I did grab that right, yeah. Okay, well, now we gotta find, um, Dolly. Where, wherever she got to. Where, wherever she got to. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> Yeah, like, like, Mel Brooks, he's like the ultimate troll, like, I mean, honestly, <laughs> like, he could have told the guy, no, it's for comedy, um, you know, but he wanted to be as authentic and realistic as possible, and, like, he wrote the, the, um, the lines, basically intentionally wrote them so that they were, it looks like the dinosaur was attacking something, or he's stuck. But yeah, like Mel Brooks intentionally wrote those lines too, so it, it seems like where is Dolly? Come on, Dolly. Drives me crazy when I lose them like this. Hmm. Maybe down this way a bit. Um. Wild trike. Come on, where where? Okay, so let's retrace our steps. We have campfire right here. I didn't 
see any messages indicating like that Dolly got attacked by something and killed, but I don't know. Maybe she did. Maybe she, like the reason why that guy is all spazzing out is like I think he does an area effect damage just as he's walking, and I'm wondering if maybe he stomped on Dolly. And and then spazzed out because he got stuck. Who knows? But yeah, like um, it, it's sad. Like it, I love like any anything by Mel Brooks. He he's a well maybe maybe there are a few that um during his late late career that aren't all that great. But you know, and and it's kind of a shame that he was you know like no one has really taken up the mantle. Of qual like quality shtick comedy. After after he passed, passed on like like a ship in the night. Okay, and Dolly was doing something. Are are you okay? Like, what's your health like? Uh, okay, you, you actually are ready to level up. Where oh inventory right. Hmm, uh, you're just an egg machine. So health. <laughs> Are you stuck on the rock? Is that the deal? I think she's stuck on the rock. Eventually, we're gonna end up like wasting all these rocks, clearing them out so dinosaurs can move around. So, yeah, after a while, you do clear out like everything around your territory of usefulness. And when that happens, you kind of have to move on. So, that guy looked big. What was that? Oh, it's it's a rock I I blew up. Okay, <laughs> that's like the third time that's happened. Oh well, let's get the spear out in case we get, you know, some some TLC from the compies. <laughs> compies, man. Uh, still following us. i every so often I need to turn around, and look back. I'm just navigating around these rocks. Once you get dinosaur saddles, like. That's the other thing. The main reason I'm not really focusing on the Dilophosaurs and getting a whole bunch of them, because you can kind of like use them to roll over. Um, you get enough of them, they can even take out like Carnotosaurs and stuff. But uh, the reason why I'm not doing that is uh, they get stuck on everything. And it's, it's such a pain that, seriously, like how hard would it be for them to program something like if a dinosaur is ordered to follow you, and it gets beyond a certain limit from you, it snaps back to your position. Like, that's any game with pets pretty much has that. And yet, not Ark, apparently. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta get, get back to our base. Our dodos getting e eaten up by. Oh, and my dialos are down there, too. This could be really bad. No! <laughs> Jerk raptor. I'll show you what's what. Raptors are fairly dangerous, but... No! Oh, God. Well, I was, we weren't going to keep them anyway, but... Aw. Sad all the same. Okay, our stamina is bad. Here they come, okay. Just keep moving back and swing with your spear. Yeah. Um, shoo. Raptors, like, they're, they're kind of, like, how do I explain raptors? Like, one, they're actually good to tame and ride. They, they're quite good mid-game rideable creatures. And they're, they're better for if you need a pack of something. What What is here? Gosh, you got, like, all my dodos. Yep. And these guys were supposed to. Oh, uh, he got. He got. Are you alive? Are you just knocked out? Or are you. Oh, man. That's sad. Oh, my dodos. Uh, well, why, why waste the meat? Dang. See, I, I thought those guys. I guess they're on passive or whatever. So they were meant to kind of hang around and. Oh, he also wrecked. What? Why? <laughs> oh no! He, he wrecked my base up too. Okay. Um, 
this is uh, kind of a bad situation. Um, so let's not panic though. Let's let's get some storage built. Twenty five wood. I, I need to find some wood. Do you have any wood? Fiber, fiber, fiber. No. Okay. Because let's see, decay. We got like thirteen minutes to rebuild this. What what a dumb though. Ugh. I don't get why he. It, I'm gonna drop the Amar berries. We don't need to carry a ton of Amar berries. Um. Yeah, just it's eight pounds. Like, drop it. Um. Goodness. Definitely grab these blueprints. The kainen. Carrot seeds. Oh gosh. Um. Let, let's. Wow. He busted up like. Mm. Let's not panic. We just gotta find wood and build a couple of crates. So, let's do. Yeah. Um. The dinosaurs were meant to be kind of guard dogs, and they failed in that task. I think I need to leave them on like aggressive. I don't know. I, I need to like. Research like dino commands and figure out why am I stuck? Come on. Just focus on the task at hand. Rebuilding the storage. Okay, craftables. I think we, we want to build at least two. But yeah, raptors, they're, they're actually decent tames, and pretty good, ooh, I leveled up, lovely. Pretty good at, um, they're kind of mid-range sort of mounts slash fighters, but I have a, a, a different idea for what I'm going to use as a mount. So, now see, if I had the storage boxes in here... The raptor couldn't have reached them until he busted this up. And if I had my Dilophosauruses on guard duty, like, like there's there's some stuff that I could have avoided losing like a lot of those animals, but uh, it's a shame to lose all our dodos. We I think though we already have a whole bunch of eggs from them. Yeah, that, that's kind of unrealistic behavior though. Like why would a dinosaur when there's a bunch of meat around, destroy all the, the storage boxes instead. You know, it's like, why? But they hate them. <laughs> they hate your smelly storage boxes and want them to go away. So, okay, let's let's start. I'm going to have this one just be dedicated to seeds. Seeds, seeds, seeds. Um, I, I know we had some more. Yeah, rock carrot. There's a particular scene I'm looking for that we haven't found yet. It's it's fairly rare, so we're we're gonna have to like hunt for it in a way. Uh, what was in this one? Um, this okay, MR berry seed. Let's just uh have decade seeds for decade things. So this is gonna be like um I don't know something. <laughs> okay. Now this storage, we'll make this one all about like silica pearls, chitin, just kind of the rarer drops, I guess. Let's see. Um, hides would be good. Hmm. Any any other rare things? No. Well, blueprints. We'll put those in. And the keratin would be a good good candidate. So this is the rare stuff. This one, because it's closest to the front, this is where we should put stuff that isn't as rare, like stone and wood and like flint and fiber and thatch, I think. Let's, um, uh, now it's, all, it's gone all blurry again. But yeah, if you get a couple of Dilophosaurs and you just order them. Okay, you're encumbered. Let's see, what can we drop in order to move again? Um, let's drop the Fiomia saddle and the stone for now. Ooh, the, the eggs weigh a lot. Um, 
What if we draw? I don't want to drop the eggs in case something awful happens, like a, a, a I don't know, something annoying. Uh, drop. This is why I also need to increase my weight because it's like if I have to do this every time, it, it gets to be a little bit ridiculous. Still can't move. Come on. Do I have rocks in here or something? But we don't need to carry that. No, uh, what is this weighing me down? It's a dodo eggs, I bet. Um, yeah, these berries, just use them. Just gobble them up. Because now we, we need to kind of hurry up on our on this whole project. Oh, come on. Mm. What else can I just... Just keep dropping the berries. It just, it's like five pounds of berries. Who carries five pounds of berries around? Okay. Can I move now? No. Mm. Uh don't really want to drop those eggs. I, yeah, 66 pounds is a lot, but what else do we got? Um, tell you what, guys, I'll be back in a second. Possibly, so.